I voted for Brandy. I think she's great, but it's like I come down to basically who I want on my team is my original team. Like those are the people I came up with, and I've seen how hard David works, and I think Megan's very smart as well. And so I think that's what it comes down to. Is for saving me, and the fact that y'all saved me. I, I mean, I will. I, I'm strong going forward with y'all. Thank okay, you. Like 100. So we want for the next the next vote. It's definitely going to be. I am definitely voting Rebecca. 100. percent If we don't switch tribes or whatever, um, because she has already screwed me over once, and she screwed uh, Daniel over once. So she threw both of us under the bus, and we had a thing from day one. Okay. So. Yeah. I think we're gonna merge. Okay. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be a merge yet, but I think we are gonna do a tribe swap. Zoom in on Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> We don't know what the captains are doing. I wonder if they're strategizing with each other, trying to read each other out. Um, but yeah, Rebecca is very good at strategy. She, I think she plays it off that she's very mild about it, but I think she's definitely thinking about it all the time. I'm really nervous and really interested to find out what the captains are doing. Um, I'm thinking either they're, they might be trading us. Uh, maybe they're going to be deciding how the, how the teams are going to swap. Um, I'm really nervous about the information that's being shared because I'm sure Alonzo and um, Rebecca, the yellow person, you know, I kind of feel like our yellow and our green people are wanting to um, unite against red, but I don't know what kind of a conversation they could have in front of the red guy, Captain. So, um, yeah, I'm really, really interested to see what happened there. I'm nervous. Um, I hope we do get Alonzo back. I hope they don't switch the captains on us. I'm really nervous. That's why I'm getting nervous. Now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a really tough swing for all of us, but, yeah, I think that Chris and Elise are interesting. I don't know if they're going to stick with us, so we should just keep them on a tight leash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think you notice that Chris has been pretty perceptive, like yes. picking up on stuff. Yeah. So he's, he's playing the game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It sounds like he's. this isn't his first rodeo. At this point, I feel like the winning three challenges is a little bit more of a curse because we have such a target on our back, and we've been getting along so well as the manager team that it's been actually, it's been more difficult than I think any of us thought to like split off and create something separate. And at this point, we know that if we're, if there is a switch happening in three tribes of five and there's two tribes where we're gonna be only two of us, it's, we're gonna be gone. Yeah, if there's three of us on one team, we're probably okay. If there's two of you, you're probably gonna get voted off because you're part of the winning red team. Um, I think, I might be a little bit under the radar because I didn't play one challenge and I'm the only girl and let's be honest, I'm fluffy. So I probably look a little less like athletic. Oh my god. <laughs> I, hope it says, I hope it says there's a taco <laughs> truck around the corner. Captain Summon Instructions. At last, Captains, you've all been shipwrecked. Your crew has been scattered and you have to put together a new tribe from the remains. Here's how it will work. For each round of tribe selection, you will start with the first place captain from the last challenge, then second place, then third place. First round, you will choose new first mate from one of the other tribes for this round. Whoever's first mate is chosen by the place captain must take the first mate of the remaining tribe and the captain must take the first place captain's first mate. Second round, each captain in order will choose one player from the original tribe Third round, each captain will choose one player from any tribe but their own. Fourth round, each captain will choose one player from any tribe, including the round. The last chosen player will fill any spots left by players who have been voted out while this swap is happening so that all three new tribes have five players. Yeah. Captains, then secretly, with the, just the producer, choose one player from the original tribe that is now on another tribe to send a secret clue to, leading them to an idol slash advantage. Oh my god, just when you get comfortable. So I love my team. We've been doing really well together. But in the rules of the game, I have to choose a new first mate. And you know what? I'm hoping Elise stays on my team and I would love to give her some more girl power. So I'm going to go ahead and take Aubrey. That, by default, gives me Aubrey. Justin. He's a good guy, you'll love him. I can't wait to figure out who he is. <laughs> Can I get David S? Yes. I have decided for me to try to keep strength, I'm gonna go ahead and keep Chad. I really like all the people on my team. Um, just 
the only one that's been consistently with me is Dylan, so I'm going to keep Dylan. I'm going to probably go for strength as well. Go Nandy. So for me, if I'm going to be picking somebody from a different tribe to try to like branch out a little bit more and get a better understanding of what's going on, I'm going to go with David W. I'm going to take... Mix it up, I guess. I'm gonna take William. I'm gonna get Brandy. She's on our trap originally. Okay. I feel like I'm losing my children. <laughs> okay, so this is tricky, and there's a lot of people in front of me that I'm in love with from my team. So I think I want to stick with somebody who I've become familiar with, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep Marshall. I'm gonna actually go with that same mentality and take someone that I've become familiar with and stick with me. Take Kevin, he's a really good guy. <laughs> so I'm sure everyone is wondering what the captains were doing over on Pirate's Cove. Yeah. Well, they were selecting new tribes. Yeah. So everyone drop your buffs, throw them in the pile in the middle here. Oh, I don't know if you want these. Finally! <laughs> so, the new Matador tribe is now Joe, his new first mate is Aubrey. Oh. Oh. Come All on, right. baby, that's fine. <laughs> Chad, join Red. And David W. Did you get your same one? Come <laughs> over! Uh, Marshall. Yeah. All right, this is the new Matador tribe. We have three original Matadors <laughs> and two original Topang. <laughs> On the green tribe, <laughs> we have Alonzo. Uh, his first, his new first mate is David S. Oh. Andy. Uh, yeah. Chris. Oh. And Elise. What? here on Zuma, we have Rebecca is your captain. Her first mate is Justin. Yes. Nice. William and Megan. Secret messages were sent to each of you from the captains. I am going to hand those out now. You can uh, open them at your leisure. You may lie about what was inside of your secret message in any way that you would like to. Uh, you can read it in secret at your, at your leisure. Oh, okay. Okay. Anytime. No. All right. It's a message in a bottle, baby. It's from your original cap. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. We have fun, so if you guys want to just help us out. We will try. Bye-bye. You're bad. I'm going to do, like, strong boy All right, this next challenge is called Walk the Plank. All right, Your, each tribe will be uh, divided into two teams of plank walkers. The plank walkers will walk along these planks to retrieve puzzle pieces out in the field. Once they retrieve the puzzle piece, they'll bring it back, and the next team will go. The fifth member of the tribe will be the puzzle master. They will be assembling the puzzle. Survivors ready? On your mark, get set, go. Towards the back. Go towards the back. Good job. Alright, Zoom is 
locked in on their third plank. Next one, oh, oh, oh. that puzzle piece. Uh, we both have to go back? Yeah. You go back to the we both have to go back? Yeah. 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 Are yeah. they allowed to touch with the thing with their hands? Yes. You can touch the board with your Just can't touch the sand. You guys are two away. Three sets. both have their first bag. Zuma does not, but Zuma's going further down the line. Uh, yeah. One more, one more, one more. Ready? Yep. Just kind of jump with me. Get that bag. Got it. Ready, go. Yes. Yeah. Right. Back to it. Good job, guys. Use that to reset her. Step on, just step on it. We'll get it. Yeah. We'll have to be on the same one. To grab Got it. it. Got it. Nice. The closest bags left. Let's see if the strategy Woo. pays off. Are we able to open the bag? Ready? Not. Nice. Yeah. Can. No, right. We can. Okay. Oh. Reset, reset. Okay, we're one away. Yep. One away. We're doing good. Yep. We're in this. Yeah. We're in this. <laughs> Got it. Yes. All right, Matador has their last bag. We have to get on the right side. All right, Matador starting on their puzzle. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Corners first. Everyone still has two bags. Yeah, we have an. Yep, you have to both be on before you can. You're good. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Get him open. Get him open. Oh. Okay. Multiple people open it. Okay, multiple. We can stand around you. Stand around, guys. Yeah, yeah stand around. Yeah. Okay, we got to. Alright, we got both Zuma and Matador on their puzzles. Okay. Yeah. 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 You're like, don't worry, that wasn't a problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Joe, in addition to Justin, you're going to send someone from your tribe over to Pirate's Cove as a spy. I and Justin see what he's doing over there. They'll come back to your tribe before the next uh, competition. So who's going to send Marshall? Okay, Marshall. All right. You will be going to... Right now? Uh, let's give him a second. Okay. Yeah, Good luck landing that. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, Bye, guys. Bye. 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 For when it came to like deciding on Justin to send over, he just, I saw that the numbers weren't there. Not that I'm gonna bleed red for life, but I wanted to give him a fighting chance since he was such a loyal and like, what's it called? That's not what he's saying, the co-captain. Yeah, he was oh, the co-captain. He was, co -captain. Co -captain. He was also, so great. It's true that whoever, whoever was mad at war, it's, they're, they're gonna get voted out. Yeah. For sure. I feel like the target's on Red's back. And for me, my game is like, I wanna go against the strongest people in the end. So if I can save Justin, knowing that he might be a target for them, since he's so strong, I'd rather save him and like have the strongest people here in the end. So it's really a battle royale, and people can just like float through. But that means we're all gonna be here in the end because we're all the strongest people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Stay yeah. tuned. Currently spying on Justin, who is my number one ally. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. We can kind of talk and figure some stuff out. It's a clue to an idol or something. To the right of the grassy knoll, find a rope that's green. Climb into the crevice behind, a treasure might be seen. All right. Excited to see what Justin's up to over here. We got a bed, some comfort. I think he's gonna be surprised and think that I'm gonna get voted out or something. I'm not sure exactly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's half of a hidden immunity. This is one half of a hidden immunity idol. It must be combined with the other half to be valid. Be on the lookout for a friend or foe at Pirate's Cove. Perhaps you can team up. Oh man, this is pretty great. This is pretty great. My number one ally in the game is here right now. I have half an idol. Hope he's finding the other one and then we can use this bad boy. We can save him. Yeah, I'm here to spy on you. <laughs> but I'm just gonna show you this. I got half an immunity idol. Okay. And it says, uh, I think, where did you find it? I got a clue when I came in. So I had the other half. So uh, after you left, Joe had to pick someone to go spy on you. Okay. And the other two old uh, Topangas or whatever wanted to come. Oh, really? <laughs> and uh, I was subtly like kicking Joe's leg, like oh where they couldn't see, and so then Joe sent me his clue. Oh my god. Okay. I, or I got. How does it work? Because I have the other half. Yeah, so we now have a full idol. Can we use it together? I think you should take it. You want me to take it? Okay. <laughs> because but I think I we'll. I know where to put it. I know. Or you want I'll me to hold, it you want me to hold on to it? I'll transfer it in your bag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you use this at the next if one? If I need to? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if not, uh, our bags are right near each other, just transfer back over to me or something, and then we'll figure it out and merge. Oh, so, I mean, it was it was good because you guys would have had to draw rocks. I wanted to send Rebecca, oh, okay. because she has two bows. Yeah. So it would have been a 2-2. Two, oh, two, two, two it would have been a 2-2 two, two split, and you guys would have gone to rocks, and yeah. that would have been, who knows what would have happened. So what should we say that I saw you doing here? You gotta... You can say I was looking for an idol. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna assume it, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. What about the... I'm gonna say I think it washed away, and we couldn't find it, yeah. <laughs> or, or you couldn't Whatever. find it. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't allowed to go on the beach. I was just allowed to stand yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah. Is the blue, you know what my bag is? The, the blue, blue one. bag. Okay. Okay. Be, be like, subtle. Yeah, I don't have anywhere to hide it. Put it. Put it in there. <laughs> right. Wait, it's, it's huge. I know. <laughs> put it in your. Wait, I'm not gonna look. Put it in your <laughs> underwear. Yeah. So here, let's talk a little bit more longer term yeah, yeah. game. I want to yeah. work with you. Yeah, absolutely. And I think we can do a lot yeah. of damage. You, me, and Chad need to be the last remaining red. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, so then... I. This we... is the moment right here. 
Final three with Episode Chad. Episode five, baby. <laughs> so we had a tribe swap and I ended up on the yellow tribe with three original yellow and two original red. We had seven out of the last 15 people remaining in the game. So clearly red is a huge target. However, immediately I bonded with uh, Rebecca. I like Rebecca. I just have that instant connection with her. And we, we worked well together in the challenge. I looked at her after the challenge and I said, I want to work with you. And she said, I want to work with you too. She could be lying to me and playing me, but I feel a genuine bond with Rebecca. William, my buddy, I was working with him. He's going to get taken out at this next tribal. Most likely I cannot see him not getting taken out. So I'm going to need to really rely on my social game and hopefully I can work with Rebecca and uh, yeah. So we'll see. I'm happy I was sent to Pirate's Cove because Joe, my buddy from Red, he wanted to keep me safe. Uh, I like working with Joe, I trust Joe, and it gave me the opportunity to look for an idol, which I found half of an idol, and then Marshall came over with the other half. He's gonna give me that idol, other half, in case I need to use it at the next tribal council, where I most likely, if I don't win immunity, will go with three original yellows to tribal council. Um, I also got a clue to another hidden idol, um, so I have to figure out if, if this one hasn't been found yet over by the lifeguard tower. This one's going to be hard to get, um, so potentially I could have two, two idols. This Sorry. one is the captains had to do a team swap, and each captain had to send a message to one of their people, and Joe sent me uh, this message, which is a clue to an idol. So the tribe swap worked out pretty well for me personally, because me... Justin, William, and Chad are a final, we have a final four together. Um, William's unfortunately probably gonna go tonight, but me and Chad are on the same tribe, and Chad's very strong. Kind of, it's kind of cool because Joe is our obvious meat shield, but Chad is my meat shield. So it's pretty cool that uh, I'm, I'm just gonna blend in until the merge. I never thought when I was driving an hour from LA to Malibu today that we would win four challenges in a row, and I have not been to tribal council, and it's 3 p.m. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's really bad for all of us as a tribe because now we're target number one, but I think <laughs> uh, I, I think we're we're public enemy number one, but there's only eight of them and there's still seven of us, so we have plenty of numbers left. I think it's gonna dwindle a little bit right now, but that's that's good for us. We need to have a bit of a pug uh, pugonging on red. Yeah, so when we were deciding who would be the spy to go check on Justin, David and Aubrey were pretty adamant about coming or they were kind of suggesting it at least and I was tapping Joe on his foot like hey man you gotta send me and he got the memo so it was pretty cool that he did that and uh, I think we're gonna play this really really quietly I think uh, people are gonna just think that I saw what Justin was doing and he didn't really find anything I think Chris and Elise are so great I love the red tribe red strong all the way but uh, I we kind of felt like they would be the first to flip just because Elise was saying we got to get the strong boys out I never thought I'd get in a strong boys alliance I'm not a strong boy uh, but I think I'm in a really great spot because no one's gonna be coming after me unless they figure out that I'm kind of the schemer behind it all uh, that's That'll be the only time I get in some heat, I think. Uh, David and Aubrey actually seem like really great people. Uh, I think they're really good at this game, so I'm a bit nervous to trust them. Uh, this is, I never thought I would be over on Pirate Cove. <laughs> I've been playing a really low game. Uh, I didn't ever expect to come over here in the fact that I did and found a hidden immunity idol, which is packed tight, is uh, pretty great. I'm excited. Just to be clear, we did not talk. You saw me look you're gonna you spread. You are gonna spread the word that we found half of one to Megan. She's gonna spread it's it like wild yes. uh, sit up on the perch and like he filmed me like peeking over. <laughs> Did you get any information about it? I got to like... I got to go down there at the end and chat with him and he's just like I don't think he found anything if he would have told me. 
So it's just in doing the whole time he was over there, he was just looking? Yeah, I had to like just like be on the perch for a long time and then I finally got to go down there and chat with him. Did you get so did he know that you were watching him the whole time? He didn't. He was like okay, super good. surprised when I went down there. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's I like, What's surprised. happening? Are you like <laughs> And so you didn't see him get anything either? I didn't. I didn't. Okay. And, and I feel like he would have told me if he did. But did, were you watching him the whole time? So yeah, you know oh yeah. Sure? Well, I mean, he might have found it before. It took oh, me like okay. a few minutes to get over there. he was still there. looking when you got there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was like way at the other end of it. So then and then you left it. and he's still looking. Or no, we know. left and we were just chatting and then we did confessionals and oh, then okay, I walked great. back. So and I don't know if somewhere. he's still there or not. Did he say Is anything there? about being no, there? He must be there. Okay. Was he happy to be sent over there? Yeah, he was super happy. Come in. But it's funny, like, when we sit around and we watch Survivor, there was, like, one night we were all talking about it. Before we could drink. I lost 30 pounds! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow, wow, wow! Oh, I gained 30. Okay, but also, like, okay, if something happens, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like a fan run. Honestly, my tribe was by people who weren't picked. At least, and Chris weren't chosen by Joe uh, immediately, and neither were they by Rebecca. And of course, I didn't choose them because I have no idea who they were. But because I lost Kevin and Brandy, I hope you watch this because you were supposed to be on my tribe originally. But because you both got voted out, I got Elise and Chris. People I did choose was David S. We, even then, I didn't get a choice. Only Andy was the person I chose for my tribe. He's the only person I feel I can really trust now. Our tribe is they sound really connected, and that scares the shit. <laughs> it is kind of weird being uh, on a tribe where I'm the only original from the, the other tribes. So you got two and two, and then I'm the, the, the one solo. But um, I think that there's some cracks within the other tribes pre-tribe pre, uh, switch, and I think that I'm working through those cracks, hopefully, and um, I'm just hoping I'm the swing boat and not the one for God. That makes sense. So, do you want to go to Have you all been to the island yet? I have to. Okay, okay. yeah. I have not. I have no idea. I don't want to have them bring them so far. All of them for what? They don't have any. Yeah, wow. Because they've been with us. What's oh, what they, 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 I still want to talk to people. Yeah, I mean, I want to see what else is going on. Yeah. Alonzo, but Alonzo, I need him to talk there. Without really controlling it, Alonzo's going to get himself in trouble. Uh, I like Alonzo a lot. He's really good. He's a great person to bring to the finals because um, I think he's being really demanding and not building. Alonzo, he's a great guy, but uh, if I could keep him along, uh, yeah, I think he's going to scare David away. Yeah. I'm not going, I'm, I'm going to go. I wouldn't mind Nintendo Switch today. Oh, it sucks. It really does suck. I really like to, to make it with and everything. And uh, I probably did okay with the odds. Uh, I think I'll be okay for this vote. I don't, I don't know for sure. But if I was one, if I was a Matador, I'd be worried. What's up, dude? What do you think? Okay, I'm thinking. Alonzo. Oh, Alonzo. Yeah. Alonzo. You want him out? I kind of want him out, but I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I want it to personal. Uh, no, know. it just seems like he's like because y'all had Brandy on her tier team. Then again, yeah, she told me that he was just like basically running the show. But I don't know if it makes sense to get him out right now. Yeah, yeah. I, to me, I understand that. I really do that's what we're going on, but I really do worry about the Brandy right now. I want Alonzo out because I feel like he would be competition at large. And if you don't see that, even if you are in the lineup, I mean, he's no, no, but he's a strong that. player. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that this this round. Let's do Chris. I'll do Chris. I'll do Chris. Yeah. Y'all so have like, a, are y'all tight? You and Adam? Not really. Like, you know, I mean, I want to tell them. But I 100 percent with y'all for Chris. I had to do that too already. Yeah. Well, I completely agree. This is stupid. Oh. Mine is a whole long thing. Mine is nothing. Okay. I'm thinking it's, it's obvious that Brent has seven people, uh -huh. but we're already feeling a fuck out the drive because 
nearly jumped in the sent to exile me that William sacrificed because he's just a big only friend, you know. He's the only friend of all that you know about. Yep. So it's just like the red is already broken up the well, most. I think really, really we just got blown around all over the place in the valley. You know, yeah. It's it's difficult because really we have I know you guys think red is strong and literally a number two. It's a crap well, shoot. Yeah. We're mostly just chilling because we already have the right? You know what I mean? Red, red, red. So. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see, oh, we're all red. Right. Yeah. I think at this point it's mostly Joe, Chad, and Marshall. Sure. Uh, yeah, you, so you're a backup, obviously. So I think from our game, to give you a red trust, you can be a fun to not take over. Right. In my opinion, it be almost even. It would only be. And then at that point, When I first saw my team, I was like, oh, <laughs> um, just because Alonzo was like playing really crappy earlier, like he was really aggressive and bad. I was like, I don't care for you. And then the other guy, David, has lied a lot and been trying to pull shit and we all recognized it. So I was like, oh, I get both of them. How fun for me. Chris and I are not. winners or high people in the red team, red team because they just sent Justin over to Pirate Cove and William's been sacrificed. So we're so, one of the numbers that can be lost, basically. So we're basically debating between you are saying Alonzo, mm -hmm. and then Alonzo and Andy are saying Chris. Chris. Um, I, I mean, I don't like being in the swing boat, but like at the same time... I mean, you have to do whatever's best for your game. We do have the numbers now, which would be nice to take him out, but if he's such a big target, that's the only thing. How much time do we have? Because I got a, a, a clue. Are you done? How we can walk over to the lifeguard stand if okay. we want to. Okay, let's walk over to the lifeguard stand. Let's just keep walking. Okay, this is what the clue says. Okay. It says, it brings power to the lifeguard tower. You'll find it at, you'll find the right place if you dig near the base. Yeah, but let, let's do this somewhat quickly because <laughs> we're on a time crunch. <laughs> So right now I have the option between Chris and Elise, they're both red originals. Now I'm thinking between both of them, I think Elise is going to go, but my lines is telling me otherwise. You might want Chris over Elise, I'm not sure why, but I'm not here to argue, 
I feel at a really great spot. It'd be really dumb for Andy to finally turn on me. And it'd be really weird for David to just join Red, because then Red is going to run this game. So Chris and Elise, I'm sorry. So here was what happened. Um, Chris and I were like, well, we're going to stay together because we're Red Team. Um, and he's a ride or die at this point. Um, so we were looking at Alonzo because he's really strong and he's really shifty. And we've been hearing things from other people. So we were like, maybe we should try to get him out with uh, our little swing boat bear guy. The other thing, though, is our swing boat bear guy, David, is really shifty, too. So I kind of feel like I'm on a tribe of shifters. So it felt like it wasn't going to be me this time. But who the hell knows? I tried to play Alonzo and be like, oh, you know, I'm totally cool with swinging because obviously I'm not one of the top ones on the red team. But uh, I don't know if he bought it. And yeah, he was really like, I don't know. You should stick with your red or dead. I'm 21 and I've seen the world. And I'm like, all right, I'm 35, so whatever. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think this is just really fun. You wouldn't be a survivor if you didn't get to, like, do this really crappy part where you vote people off and lie to each other. So, we'll see what happens. Like I do every single tribal council, I do not, I don't know how I feel about the vote because every single tribal council, I always feel like I'm going home. So, if I end up staying, I end up staying. If I end up leaving, I will leave with dignity. But I do think that... I sided with the right side. I don't think that I was a swing vote, but um, there definitely is somebody that uh, is, might get might get screwed up tonight, and I don't think that it'll be me, but you never know. Well, he put me as first mate, which would make me captain, but I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't know if I want to be captain, because that would make me a target on my back. I, I think he's a little bit, uh, honestly, he's a little bit, like, bossy. Like, he doesn't really want to listen to, uh, Alfonso doesn't really want to listen to people. And, I mean, that can sometimes keep you in the game, and it can, can sometimes save you, and it can also be your downfall and the reason that you go home. So, I don't know why Alfonso is playing such a harsh game, but it is, um, it's interesting. I am really unsure about what's going to happen. I think it could be literally anyone except probably Andy somehow who flew under the radar. <laughs> I think obviously me and Elise have huge targets on our backs because we're the only two reds. They were very upfront about that they want some reds to go. So I'm not sure if trying to get Alonzo, who I feel like is in an alliance that thinks that they're running the game out, is going to work in my favor. But. I'm hoping to push a tie with his two votes, and since he can't vote, we'll then oust him. So, it was just insanity going into the vote. Um, I basically, you know, we had, uh, we were telling Chris one thing, we were telling Elise one thing, we were telling David one thing, and then I felt like I was to like, kind of bring in um, Alonzo. Uh, so the vote is, I think, between Chris and, uh, I think at least, I think that we got them divided up, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but we want to get rid of uh, a red, a matador. Um, so Chris is, for me at least, the most um, quiet person, and everybody else seems to not like each other, and that's great for me. So that's why I want to get rid of Chris. Yes, yeah. We're all just We've got, it's a Pega tribe in third place. Every, tribe's changing uh, people, but everything stays the same in terms of placement. <laughs> Pega has lost, lost, lost <laughs> all of these challenges. <laughs> so, uh, Alonzo, what's going on with the tribe? Well, see that there is a lot of new faces. We can really have a lot of time to talk about strengths and weaknesses. Uh, we'd have a lot of time to really get to know each other. As I went over to the summer, summer the captain's event over here, you know, I had choices to choose people from my tribe, but I only had one because Joe dominated having seven players in his tribe, making it clear to he, who he doesn't want. He left out Chris and Elise from the picks. He had to choose five, and he, and he didn't choose both of them. But I feel for challenges, we started getting the group, and because we knew people, needed to get used to each other and once we got used to each other we almost had to come back so david yeah. you are now the first mate 
to a new captain. Yeah. Bring it <laughs> up. Uh, how does it feel? Are you starting to get uh, anxious for that captain power? Uh, not really. I mean, I was first mate on my last try, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Um, and it is weird though because you got two original from the other tribe, so I am the, the single one out. So I mean, the easy vote would be like just vote for me. But I hope they don't do that. But you never know. <laughs> sure, there are different ways this could go. You could be the swing vote. You could be the target. Elise, Chris, yeah. this is your first time at tribal council. I know it's kind of it exciting. Is. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Very exciting. Yeah. Um, uh, Elise, how, how does it feel to be on the losing tribe now? You know what? It wouldn't be Survivor if you didn't get to do the whole gauntlet. So hey, guys, real happy to be here. Chris, do you feel uh, the same way? Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely nervous, but it feels like we weren't necessarily getting the full experience, just hanging out, watching the wedding or two. You know, <laughs> so it feels like we're like really playing now. Andy, you've been losing time and time uh, again. Yeah, this is old hat for me. You know, it's, it's sadly starting to feel like home here uh, at Tribal Council. Um, <laughs> You know, I've, I've already had a lot of experiences, a lot of heartbreak, um, so this feels normal being here, which is which is not what I want to deal with, which is really sad, but uh, the dynamics are different this time, which I think makes it much more interesting than a lot of the modes that we had uh, previously. Oh, so, you know, you have a, a nice mixture here. Two players have been here every single time. Two players who just joined, and then somebody who managed to miss a tribal. You know, while I was over there, I forgot there's a tribal, and it's so weird because it became such a normal process. Do the challenge, lose, go to tribal, say goodbye. Do the challenge, lose, go to tribal, say goodbye. So it's a weird, it's a weird feeling. Uh, does it feel like it's uh, kind of cut along old tribal lines, uh, or do you feel like it's really, you know, anything could happen? Have it. I mean, you could try to pick off a red person because there is a lot of red players left. Right. Um, you could go for one person on their own, but also, Jesus, like, you could be in the most powerful position as a swing vote. Like, I don't, mm. I have no idea. This is so exciting. All right. Should we get to the vote? Let's get to the vote. <laughs> All right. that the Tribal Council may have alerted some people about things that I was doing. So, um, if it's me, I had a really good fucking time, but I hope that I'm, you know, I hope that the people leading me in this direction are serious about it and we're going to take out someone who thinks we're control of the game. This is what I'm be thinking. I think it works out according to plan because I think it'll help me sort of stay under the radar a little while longer. It's just that there's way too many. It's, it's, you're on the wrong side of the numbers and I want to get rid of some of the Matador tribe. That's, that's all it is. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and they would like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Alright, I will read the votes. person with most votes will be asked to leave Tribal Council immediately. First vote. Chris. Next vote. Chris. Next vote. Chris. That's three votes, Chris. Alonzo. Three votes, Chris. One vote, Alonzo. Alonzo. Alfano. <laughs> three votes, Chris. Unfano. Two votes, Alonzo. Alonzo. We have a tie. We'll have a couple minutes to talk. And then David, Elise, and Andy will vote. Alonzo and Chris, you will not vote. All right? You can only vote for Alonzo or Chris. Are you guys, Are you guys sticking I, with Alonzo? I'm sticking with what I want. I, I got a different vote. Right? Yeah. Uh, so my vote doesn't even matter. Yeah. You can use one to hear me up. It's, 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 it's the smartest move for both of us. We discussed it. Yeah. There's nothing, there's no, no, you don't want anything to say. We can't. Sorry. I'm sorry. Can I ask why? He's just too strong. He's like, a strong like, player. Like, you got two votes. Gotta get them out. Is that personal? It's, it's not personal. Should we go vote? Or do we need to go vote? <laughs> well, I guess it's a unanimous decision. Uh, I think if you guys are sticking with your votes, okay. Well, two votes is enough. Uh, Alonzo, the tribe is spoken.
Please bring me your torch. I'll take your captain's buff. David, you are now the captain. Yeah. It really wasn't personal. You were so uh, fun. You're a Bam strong Bam player, Bam player guys. Alonzo, <laughs> tribe has spoken. Blindsided, honestly. Damn. I'm very surprised. I'm glad Andy stuck with me. And I kind of six for him because he might be going home. David's a smart player. He's definitely smarter than he leads on. I don't. I definitely thought he was going to stick with us. We had a solid three. How solid is David, Elise, and Chris? I don't know how strong. It's the first time being together, so it might have been a great move right now, but it might be a very dumb move in the future. I'm not bitter at all. Uh, I honestly think it's the smartest move for uh, anybody to do. I was one of the strongest players. I know that for a fact. I'm not an arrogant person, but looking over the, the views, I don't think I got any votes until this tribal. I was able to control every vote with Andy and everybody else. You know, I feel like the challenges were really fun. The only thing is, is my team was so goddamn awful. It's like we said, oh, let's do something, then they completely change it. So if my team would have won immunity today, everything would have been perfect. You know, we had a smart start. Freaking David and Elise, why the hell did you mess up so bad? You guys are so bad at challenges. I had a great time. It was a lot of fun being the captain. So much power. I feel like I made so many strong connections though. So I can't believe I got destroyed by a tribe. I kind of mended, but even then I have full control. But it was a lot of fun. I recommend it to anyone who wants to play out. Thank you guys for having me. Um, is this everybody? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't had to yet. Yeah, oh, you were on Matador. Yeah. Oh, wow. How's it feel though? Welcome. Um, we're really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Winning and losing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah we, we were so close. close. Yeah, two seconds. Always second. That means they've always been third, which I think is probably very distressing. Like we yeah. joke about, oh, we want to get first, but like, but like they've, they've never always gotten been third. So just seeing such a practice of lying constantly, I think I've gotten a lot better at it. I'm lying to all you right now. <laughs> oh. Sounds pretty real, right? About yeah, lying. I believe you. Yeah, yeah. lying about my life. Yeah. Wait, yeah. so I think that's a clue. I mean, it just feels, I, I want to keep playing, but also, I don't know, what, 2, two 3 in the morning, Matt. I don't know, man. Yeah. They taped it so tight. Did you get one? Yeah. What did you say? <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> really? Like a joke yeah. one? Actually, if something wasn't work, I would like offer like, oh, like physical or whatever, but I didn't quite have balance in that last challenge, so Is that it didn't tough? help at all. Yeah, even I was worried about that, that's why I was like, jumped on Paul's last challenge. It's like, it's also my height, and I was thinking of yours, and I was like, you might have balance. So I, was like, I mean, like, give me a curve here. <laughs> like, I'm on it. Do, 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 spin around. But in the sand. Yeah. Yeah. If we're on like solid ground. Yeah, it's tough. Also, since you're the only person on that on the team, and we're all doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Something's not working, right? You need to win challenges to stop sending people away. No. I mean, if I were you, I would say like. And then I would talk to her on the phone. Like, listen, we've got three votes between us. I'm from a winning team. Yeah. Do you want to be with a team that keeps getting second, or do you want to be somebody who knows how to get first? Like, do you want to win this? True. Yeah. I think you should do that. <laughs> I mean, give it a shot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this shot. is like, if you're gonna go out, go out hard. All you need is all you need is Rebecca. I need, I need, yeah. Because it's three, three of you, and then it's just me and Melissa. No. Rumor is that they, Megan has an idol. I don't know if I believe that. Like, uh, Brandy said that. Yeah. Oh, they like Justin. That's tough. <laughs> that's also tough because that's what Red Dude did to you, probably. They were yeah. like, they want to save Justin and they yeah. put you out there. Yeah. It's not our fault. I mean, that's that's the Red style, man. They yeah. They burn their own. Well, glad you were... Any clue on a, or an idol? No, I've been looking everywhere. Yeah. Like I don't even know what they look like. I mean, we've been picking up trash all day. Trying yeah, to no, right? Them. So, Zuma Tribe, stays largely Zuma Tribe. We have three original Zuma here, and one original Matador. Hi. So, how are you feeling finally losing? Uh, it's, it's not a pleasant feeling. Um, yes, it's, it's tough, and then not to even have my fellow uh, partner to commiserate with, a Matador. Right, Justin but, got I mean, sent I got to, to Pirates yeah. Cove. Yeah. So I got to meet 
uh, these guys haven't got to talk to them much even at the beginning, so that's a little silver lining. <laughs> Are you feeling on the outs? Do you feel like it could be you? I I know it is. You know it is. I'm pretty sure. Unless Rebecca wants to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on, give me a signal. Oh. <laughs> Well, maybe. <laughs> I, I tried to like find a look for another a little as I could, and I tried the whole day, but yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and vote. Yeah. Right. I'm voting for William. He's a great guy, but uh, I think he didn't perform as well in the last challenge, and he's new to the team, so I want to keep our old team together. So, yeah. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol and you would like to use it, now would be the time to do so. I'll read the votes. First vote, William. Megan, one William, one Megan. William, two William, one Megan. The eighth person voted out of Survivor Pirates Cove, William, please bring me your torch. I just got voted out. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I wish I could balance the sand better. That probably would have helped my team a lot. Um, no hard feelings. I mean, if I were in their same shoes, I would have done the same thing. So that's a good takeaway. Like, it was no blind side, no personal. It was just game, good gameplay.